You know, like Cape Town's coast, the great white shark is a feared predator. But many take the risk of swimming up close and personal with the sharks. And now they turn into the reefs and kelp forests nearby to swim with cow sharks. The opportunity to see cow sharks in different parts of the world is quite difficult. But here in South Africa, because they come so close to shore, it's an incredible spot for ecotourism and for divers to go and see them in their natural habitat. The cow sharks are more tolerable to divers here in Miller's Point, and there is no need to bait the water to attract them. You don't even need a boat, you can basically walk in from the shore. Um, no bait, so you don't have to take out a big logistical... You don't have to take out a lot of stuff to actually do it. You can actually just get in your car, drive to Miller's Point, and basically from the shore get in and they'll come to you, unlike the Great White, which you actually need to like lure in. But like many other marine species, they are under threat of over-exploitation by longliners and recreational fishermen. While great white sharks enjoy protection under the law, cow sharks do not. So there is a real concern that it is a species that could one day end up in a commercial fishery. I do not believe that the ecotourism is having impact on the sharks. The most impact that is happening is obviously the over-exploitation of these animals through the fisheries and the unregulated, unmonitored and unrestricted amounts of uh, animals that, that are allowed to be caught. So I think there is the greatest problem, is lack of control over that and really understanding that these are apex predators. For the moment there is a good concentration level of cow sharks here and it's in their natural habitat that their beauty can be truly appreciated. Davis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.